Hi, my name is Isaiah. I'm 17 years old. I go to Tapanui Tia College, doing seventh form. And I don't know what I want to do when I leave school. So I want to check out a bit of sawmilling. Well, Isaiah, we may have the perfect opportunity for you with the largest employer in Taupo. Tenon is an award-winning sawmill taking high-quality clearwood and creating products for the American DIY market. The general manager of the Taupo site is Mark Taylor, who will take you through the mill's processes once you've had your safety briefing. When we're employing uh, someone to come and work with us at Tenon, we, there are several things that we're looking for. First and foremost, we're looking for people that have a good attitude, that have good values, good timekeeping, and are prepared to give things a go. Because if you bring those sorts of skills to the site, then you'll find that there will be opportunities. So we're in the head rig now, and, and this is where the logs are initially broken down. Guy's got a really important job here, because he has to take the log onto the carriage, and then look to extract the clear wood, or the high grade, from the outside of the log. So the controls that Guy's using are, are similar to a helicopter, and you can see that Guy's needing to coordinate with both hands a number of uh, jobs, as well as foot pedals, so a really technical job. The central block contains knots formed when the branches grow, making the timber low quality. Tenon specialises in timber milled from the outer layers that grow once the branches have been trimmed off. That is called clear wood and has four times the value. Our goal though is to extract the maximum value from that clear wood, uh, from the prune log. But to get the most out of that clear wood, the saws need to be sharp. So you better call in the doctor, the saw doctor. So what is saw doctoring? Saw doctoring mainly is uh, maintaining uh, band saws, saws, maintaining the saws we use in the sawmill. Every sawmill has saws, therefore a saw doctor is an important part of any sawmill. The big band saws are flattened to ensure a straight cut before being sharpened. The blades need to stay in shape for a 12 hour shift. The classic signs of the saws going well is when you don't see any of those guys out there. If there's, if there's problems with the saws out there, they'll be in here. Okay. And we, we're lucky enough that we seldom see them. Much of the process is automated, but some blades are still straightened by hand. So start here, check that little section there, see if you can find any lumps in there. Yeah, there's one over here. Yep. Okay, grab your hammer and have a look. Is a size grip on the tool steady enough to make him a saw surgeon? If there's daylight in the under there, Isaiah, you push the lump through to the other side. Okay. Yeah. That is nice and flat. The saw is straight so the timber's not going to turn to dust, which is good because it's back to the factory where the lumber is sorted and stacked ready to be dried. Well, we're down at the kilns now, and, and you can see this timber has come out of the sawmill. It's been filleted. We place these uh, fillet stickers in between the, the boards, and that's to allow consistent uh, airflow to dry the timber. Uh, so this timber is now going to head into the kilns. So the kilns behind me run at uh, temperatures up to 180 degrees. We're fortunate in that they're fueled by, uh, ge through geothermal heat and the kiln drying can take anything from one to five days. So we're back at, at the back of the kilns now and this timber has come out of the kilns. It's between 10 to 12 percent in moisture content and by drying it that low we prevent any risk of sap stain. That's a lot of information to take in, and so Isaiah takes a break with Competence Regional Training Advisor, Mark, to look over his career possibilities. What we do with our qualifications is we start you at an entry level and work you through an operator level, then to an advanced operator level. We recognise on site that training is key, and it's key for both the development of the individuals and for the success of the company. The timber is dry and ready to be processed in the moulding factory. Each plank is individually cut to get the highest quality result. The heart of the operation is the grinding room, where the blades are set and sharpened. Moulding line plant supervisor Peter Carter will show us how it's done. Welcome to the grinding room. We're going to turn this piece of clear up here into this profile here. And this is the head that does it for these knives going around. Once this head's set on the machine, it spins at 6,000 revolutions per minute. Asai gets the chance to set the knives into the head. Slide it into the pocket, place it there, flush on both sides, grab the knife. Which way is it facing? That way? Around this way, oh, yeah. yeah. Just slip it and through there. Slip it in, yeah, like that. 
and just torque it up a little bit to hold it in place. If the blades are not in line, the head gets unbalanced, and at 6,000 revolutions a minute, all sorts of things can go wrong. So a sire has to get it right. So now we're going to place the head on the CMA stand, and we're going to put all the knives into the same cutting circle. First we'll turn it on. See that? It's on the yep. O-line. That's good. Turn it around to the next knife. Not quite in the right cutting circle, same cutting circle. Tap that knife across a bit, give it a little tweak, and that's that knife done. Move on to the next one. Right, now you have a go. Well done. Once a sire has got the blades in line, they are sharpened either by hand or automatically. Then they are ready for use in the moulders, where Peter shows a sire a head ready to go. You can actually see the head in there. Oh, it's cut, it's spinning, cutting the profile. Easy. The mouldings are used to edge windows and doors. It's all about adding value. Offcuts are used as kindling, and all other byproducts of the manufacturing process are either used as fuel or in the production of particle board, paper, and the like. The goal is for Tenon to extract every scrap of viable timber. The mouldings are being packed into the container ready to start their journey to the United States. So, what did Asaya think of his time at the mill? Um, it was pretty good to see how the machine runs and all that stuff, where the logs come from, where all the wood goes to and all that stuff, so yeah, it was pretty good. found the head rig pretty interesting for me, just how the controls work and sort of stuff like that, so it was pretty good. Workers generally start off as a table hand sorting timber, a filleter or yard hand and can move on from there. Students can study for national certificates in a full range of positions in the sawmill, including log yard operation, saw doctor and timber machinist. As mills become more automated, job skills are evolving, creating new challenges for the mill and its employees. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.